Senator Moynihan once said, you're entitled to your own opinions, but you are not entitled to your own facts. The dominant political fact of the last eight years has been Republican failure. Serial governing malpractice. The state of our nation's economy is a direct result of economic policies Washington Republicans have been waiting decades to implement. But it wasn't until they had control of all levels of power from 2001 to 2007 that they fully implemented their strategy. Today, 3.4 million more Americans are unemployed than when President Bush took office seven years ago. And nearly 5 million more Americans live in poverty. Rather than focus on the greatest threat of terrorism along the Afghanistan-Pakistan border, the Bush administration has consistently diverted resources to Iraq. The huge foreign policy mistake that has stretched our military dangerously thin, left us unprepared for possible threats, damaged our credibility around the world, and allowed al-Qaeda to regroup and become stronger. The two people most responsible for our nation's failed energy policy are the two oil men in the White House, President Bush and Vice President Cheney. This administration admits that 95% of its energy policy has now been enacted. So let's take a look at exactly what's, what it's produced. Over the past seven years, gas prices have more than tripled. House Republicans have blocked every effort to responsibly invest in renewable energy. Under this president, the number of Americans without health care has risen from 38 million to 46 million. Today, nearly one in nine children lack health insurance. We tried not once but twice to ensure that 10 million children had access to health care. President Bush vetoed it twice, and Senator McCain recently said that was the right decision. President Bush has been forced to borrow more money from foreign nations like China and Japan than all 42 of his predecessors combined. In a short time, seven and a half years, the greatest explosion in the debt of the United States government, which belongs to you and me and the generations that will come after us, that we're going to have to repay, and it will take generations. Not only, it appears, monetary favors, gifts, meals, trips, but sex and drugs, nine billion dollars was wasted, unaccounted for at the beginning of the war, sometimes thrown out of pickup trucks in duffel bags uh, and never ever seen again. What we're dealing with really here is a government run amok. Which we left thousands, tens of thousands of residents helpless and hopeless. Every time they try to change the subject, every time they pretend to be agents of change, we will answer with the simple facts of failure. We have faith in the facts. We will stake an election on that faith. And when we win, we will govern secure in that faith.